Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to cheat in Sons of the Forest, mainly with a focus on building. I'm going to show you the console commands I use to make videos, tutorials, that sort of stuff. Now first, what you want to do is get into a game. And what you have to do is type in cheat stick. And that is just C-H-E-A-T-S-T-I-C-K. Then once you've done that, if you press F1, you'll see that console commands are enabled. And as you can see, there's a lot of them but you're probably only going to use about 10 at max. There's probably three main ones you're going to use, and the first one is just God Mode On. Just puts your stats to max, and they shouldn't drain, but sometimes they do. It doesn't work properly. The next main one, obviously, is Log Hack On, and it's a lot better than what it was in the forest, but the building system in this one is more questionable in terms of speed. So when you place the log, you get a new one, like this. So you can go through and build much faster. And the final third command I think you're going to use a lot is time scale. This command was in the forest and you didn't really need it much in that game. But for this game, yeah, with the animations and that slows everything down, I highly recommend you use it. Now, two is a safe number. And what that does, it just doubles the speed of the game. So this includes the inventory. So look, I can pan much quicker, but it also includes enemies. So keep that in mind. So with log hack enable, it depends on the log you're holding. It just places things so much quicker. Depending on what I'm doing, sometimes I'll use three, but I won't use anything over three because it's just too fast. Also note that time scale will make it difficult for building up high because you've got to jump from log to log on beams. It's more difficult when time's sped up. Oh, I forgot to place the log there. So it's best to keep the time scale at one when you're doing that stuff. And if you want to switch logs, you just drop it and then you can pick up the next one, whatever that might be. If you don't have one, you can just go and pick one up like this. And then I go place it. Boom, I got my log back. It's not let me place because I've got to put the thing down first. No, it's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I swear this game is just pretty much, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, my Lord and Savior. This game doesn't give me any breathing room. Now, if you want to remove a whole bunch of logs, you can carry unlimited with a log hack. And also with time scale, it makes it much easier to fix up your mistakes. It's a lot quicker. Just to give you an example of time scale three, I don't know if it's three times the speed. I don't know. But for cleaning up logs too, you want to use this. So you go around picking up all your logs and then you won't have as much mess laying around. Then when you drop, it's just the stack that you had. So I'm left with four. So if you're using this in a combination with a Macricker, this is kind of how fast you can build. I'm not speeding up this footage. But as you can see, it sometimes glitches out a little bit. So if you're deciding to make a tutorial or do a trial build to see if something will work, or you want to try something out, this is the way to do it. Timescale 3 is probably really good for building walls because walls are really slow to build. That last placement on the log on the top is always quite slow. I don't know why it has this pause, but it does. Another thing about timescale is that it significantly speeds up the time that it takes to cut windows and doors. So this is the speed normally. So when you put it on time scale three, this is it. But you gotta be careful because it's so fast. I'm not gonna be speeding up any of the footage. Everything I show you is what it is. And cleaning up's much better. All those little pieces are gone now. It's the same with all log types. So if I place that, I got that. I want it back. So one log can become many. Now, when you press F1 in that, you can actually use the up and down arrows on your keyboard to scroll through the previous commands you've typed. So if you're only using a few, it can be easy to switch between them. For example, time scale, I'd switch it back to one. If I want to speed it up, press F1 and go up to say two or three ones that I've typed in earlier and it'll automatically work. Console commands aren't case sensitive unless you are playing with textures, but that's out of the scope of this video. Now, here's some other commands that I use to make it just a better experience. So cloud enable, I do use all the time. So if I turn cloud enable on, it significantly darkens the game. I just prefer not to play like this. That's just my preference. As you can see, the clouds produce quite a lot of shadow, but it bounces back like right now, it's bouncing back, it's quite bright now, just depending on where the clouds are, but I just prefer to play with it off. I'm glad the clouds are in the right position then, so it could give me a good example of why I use it. The next one that I would probably use is instant book build. If you're doing freeform building, this is useless, but it's handy to have after you finish and you want to decorate. So when you turn that on, anything in this book here, this side of the book, is placed instantly. 
got a tree house. I'm just going to whack it in the tree. Yeah, instantly places. So you don't have to go through the manual placement of things. The next one I think is quite important. I do recommend you use it, but it's not essential like the three I mentioned at the start. And that is set time of day. Also, when you're typing commands, when it highlights yellow, it means that you can press that across arrow to the right and it'll automatically fill. Now, a lot of these commands require you to add something else. So if I type in set time of day one, it will set it to one in the morning. If I set it to 18, it sets it to 6 p.m. at night. It works on a 24 hour clock. I think you can type in PM numbers though. So if I go 12 PM, nope. If I go 12 AM, then it just ignores us AM. So you gotta use a 24 hour clock. What I would use for this one is set time of day 12. And then the next command is pretty important as well. And that is lock time of day. So if you just type in lock, cross arrow, and then you press space, then you type in on, and it stops the sun from moving. As you can see, my stats are low, which means God mode doesn't really work that well. So I'm gonna type in God mode on. Now, sometimes you might wanna add zip lines or other items like building with sticks and that, and that one's easy. That one's just add all items. And it literally adds everything to your inventory. If you don't want all your items, if you're doing something else, like trying to get an item or do a tutorial on how to get an item, Say for example, the rope gun, now that I've collected it, it doesn't spawn in the world. So if I go to the rope gun cave, it won't be there. So you might have to remove the items first, which is just remove all items. Then if I press tab, most of them are gone. There's some items that haven't been added to this list. But on that wiki console commands article, I've added a thing if you want to remove these, but you don't need to. But because I've picked these items up, they won't spawn in the world. Depending on what you're doing with the save, I don't know if you want enemies or not, so probably you don't want enemies, but if you're testing defensive build, then you probably want hard enemies. So I'm gonna trial this because I haven't tested this, but set game mode. And what I'm gonna do is set it to hard. And I'm gonna place the shelter and I'm gonna save. This is the save that I was on. I'm gonna click save. Now I might make a new one in case I screw it up because this is the save I've got all my tutorials on. So if I go save, it's still listed as custom. So maybe that doesn't work. There's two more that you might use, and that one is seasons, season and winter. Because when you build something in winter, it will snow. You want to know if the snow is coming through your building if you're doing something very experimental. So you type in season, winter, and it's going to take some time to kick in. So what I do after that is type in time scale and just five after that. And you just give it some time. Mess around, keep building, do whatever you want. But as you can see, it's starting to snow. Snow doesn't render in too fast, I think. So if I walk around and go back, as you can see, the snow is forming. There we go. Let's see the snow forms on this. Yeah. This golf course in this game is huge. All my buildings are pretty much in this area. I still can't find a lot of them. But the final command is free camera. At free camera on. This is quite tricky to use. And you hold down right click and you move the camera around like this. Because it's all snow, I don't recognize areas. Okay, I found one. So you hold down right click and you move around the mouse like that. And then you can use the arrow keys to move around. Q goes down, E goes up. To turn this off, you need to type in free camera off. And then free camera on if you want to back on. And shift obviously makes you move the camera much faster. Now this is actually dependent on time scale. So if I go time scale one, this is my movement speed. So if you want to record a video going in and out, which I don't recommend you do because the game's got this texture problem of logs at the moment. So this looks like garbage. But if you want to do it slower, you just type in time scale and select a slower speed by 0.2, for example. It slows down the speed that the camera goes in, but it just doesn't translate that well. Now there's snow inside this house, which there shouldn't be, but that's probably because my player character is actually further away, so it hasn't rendered properly. Ah, oh, there's my pyramid there. So if I go over here, it should render properly. Okay, why is there snow there? There shouldn't be snow there. It's glitching out hard. See what I mean about free camera? Use it gently. And obviously if you want to switch the season back to summer, just season summer. And this season spring and either season autumn or season fall. I don't know which one and not uses. They're Canadian, so could be either or either they use a bit of American and proper English. <laughs> so it takes time for this one to work. So once you type it in, it's probably best to just uh, put on a time scale command, run away for a little bit so you can run into areas that it's now summer. See, there we go. 
Now, if you get this, oh, this is actually really good. It's raining now. Maybe you don't want that. You find it annoying or you're trying to get a good clean shot of your base. Now, I don't know which one exactly works, but it's the same as the forest, which is force rain, either zero. Yeah, it's force rain zero. There's zero to five and zero is sunny and five is like heavy rain. So if I type in five, it should start raining heavily again. It takes time. And as you can see, it rains without clouds. This one isn't permanent. It won't stay this way. If you want to go to a certain area like the golf course you've just started and you just want to head here straight away, what I recommend is go to space golf, pond, and just A, B, C, D, or E. I think E's good. And you've got to use the capitalization, I believe. And that takes you to the golf course. There's five ponds here. I'll see if it's capitalization dependent. No, it isn't. You don't have to use the capitalization, it seems. And there's the bush one, which is clear bush radius. This one isn't that intensive. Happens pretty instantly. Just clears the ground. But if you're building up in the golf course, you won't need that one. Or the tree one. It's just a lot of building space up here. Now, there's one I have set on a macro key, so it automatically types them all out. And this is it here. A lot of these probably won't work in multiplayer. That's why I type in enable cheats, just as an automatic thing for doing anything in multiplayer. It just types it in. I don't manually do it. Just to verify it for you, I have it open here. And it looks confusing, but I had to type in each key, and this is just how Logitech does it. I also use Elgato as well. And I can have a lot of commands in here. Just so you know, you need to be using the US keyboard layout. I'm just going to put instructions on the screen. For some reason, the game doesn't allow that English, like British keyboard layout, I believe. For some unknown reason, there is actually a difference between the two and the type of keys you're pressing. Here's an example. I didn't realize I had British keyboard when I was making console commands for that add item list. You can see this list on the forest wiki, the wiki GG one, not fandom. Just so you know, all of us that worked on the original forest wiki, we're not using the fandom one, we're using the wiki GG one. Here is an example of me trying to add the katana with characters I typed out on a British keyboard. When I typed it in, it didn't work, but I used the US keyboard layout ones that I typed and it worked. As you can imagine, this was extremely confusing. It's probably going to be fixed in the future, but I don't think it's a priority, so you need to change your keyboard layout. If you're using other languages, like French, apparently it just works. It's like N9 doesn't like the British layout for some reason. Or oh, there's a bug in there. I've got no idea. Anyway, hopefully you found this video useful. I didn't plan to add this many, but I thought, well, why not? You might find them useful. Just focus on the essential ones. Everything after is just helpful. Anyway, if you like this video, Make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.